Okay, what I want to show you here is how to put a photo on a tile, like a four by four tile. So this is a picture of my grandkids, and and this is a huge picture, as you can look up here. Well, I shouldn't say huge; it's five by six, and a tile is normally around four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and make an outline of a tile, and um, so it's important to note that it needs to be a line instead of a fill and I'll show you why. So I'll make it a fill. And you can see that over here in the cut layers, it says it's a fill. Now what I wanna do is take this over here. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to four by 4.25 tab, 4.25. Now I click both of these and I hit center. And that's that little bullseye up here at the top, right there. And what I want to do is right mouse click and mask, but you see it's not available. And the reason it's not available is because that right there needs to be a line. So now it's a line, but it, you know, the best thing to do is probably make it red where you can see it or a different color. So I'm going to make it red. Now, when I click on both of them by holding my control key down, I can right mouse click and apply a mask. So now I have this, tile ready to be engraved other than um, manipulating the picture and to manipulate the picture you go to shape properties click on your picture and you can mess with the contrast and that sort of thing so and the gamma makes it darker and lighter and of course you got your brightness and uh, so anyway I'm going to go ahead and bring this contrast back down a little bit so that will print right on your tile without including this line here, this outer line. But the beauty about this is you can manipulate, move your picture within that tile that you created, that mask. So if you want to have more of the background in like that, you just move it down. Or more of the porch like that, you just move it up. And now you're ready to go. Now some of you will say, well, it's going to print that line right there well you're correct and sometimes it may say that you know you're not allowed to turn that off or turn it on or whatever the case is so just turn it down to zero and then you don't have to worry about it if it does run the outline it's not going to print it's just going to be lasering error uh, and that's how you i do a tile that's how i do masking so it doesn't have to just be that i could come out here and draw a circle like this, and let's just say I want to include one of the girls here in the picture. So I just grab the circle, move it over here, click on my picture, zoom in, and make the picture larger. And then what I'm going to do is create a mask. I'm doing this with a without a mouse, so. And that's the image I want to create on maybe, I don't know, a, a piece of jewelry. And now I just right mouse click and apply mask. And there you go. And again, you can just click in here, click off, click on. And then you can just move around until you get the image exactly how you want it. And you can also zoom in, zoom out, and whatever you need to do to get it to work correctly. And then as far as resizing goes, you can resize both at the same time or just resize your image like this. Let's say I don't want to have any other person in this image. So I just click the circle and I bring it down a little bit more. And then I move it up. Then you see, I just have her in the image. And that's how you do it.